Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, and today I have another in the 24 Tags of Christmas series for 2018. Every year I make 24 tags and give them all away, and this year is no different. And today I'll be making four more tags to add to the collection, and I'll have information on the giveaway at the end of the video. And I'm using a new stamp set from Ellen Hudson, and I am truly hoping that it's released by the time this video goes live. If not, I'm going to send my apologize. apologies. But what I have done is set this up so that I can do some series stamping with the little snowman because he has a couple parts to him and I don't want to get out all my misties. Yes, I have several misties because I used to teach and yeah, it had a lot of stamping to do. But I've set this up so I can do that with an individual tag. And if you do mass producing, kind of consider your misty as a, a quadrant thing. Like you can set up different parts of it. So I have down in the bottom right hand corner is where the first piece goes, which is just the scarf and the hat. And then he moves up to the second part and you could make a second little mask for the scarf if you wanted, but I just shared one mask and then only moved them over. But I just kind of kept going around till I got all four of the images stamped that I wanted to do. And actually I should say all five of them because I messed one up and had to redo it. And I was so glad I still had the Misty set up so I could go and make another one after having messed up while I was trying to shoot this video. So yay for the Misty. This sucker has saved my bacon many, many times. And I'm just using the grid to line up this last one. Uh, the grid on the sheet of paper that's inserted there to stamp his little face. There's a couple of different faces that are actually in there. The stamping was arranged so that it fits in the window, which was from a recent release from Ellen Hudson. And I just kind of laid it down to make sure that I knew exactly where his little arm was going to be sticking into the picture. And I'm making really simple, simple trees and not getting crazy with it, just using some pencils. And then I'm going to use my baby oil. And in a recent video, somebody was asking if this was solid baby oil in some fashion. No, it's not. I actually put my baby oil in this container. I saw a tip from somebody else on YouTube to put the liquid into here with a cotton ball and then it doesn't spill if you knock it over, which is nice. So it just looks like it's solid, but it's not. So I put one layer of the color down and then I started adding more pencil because if you add more pencil on top, it gets a little stronger color and you can keep layering it and you can like make really detailed trees. You can get really crazy with it. There is a tree video I did a few weeks ago with some purple onion stamps that had super realistic trees and I was going to do that here. And then I realized, Sandy, stop. This is a tag. Don't go too nuts. So I decided to just do a little bit more pencil layering because I didn't realize that I was just doing a tag until I was kind of halfway through it. And then I went, yeah, okay. And I'll just do a little bit more <clears throat> moving around in the color and kind of soften it out a little bit because I was going to put a lot of snow in this. And honestly, if you're going to put a lot of snow on something, it's not worth spending miles and miles of time trying to make the trees super realistic. But just adding that little bit of texture, I think, is going to make them look really tree-like in the, in the tag when it's all finished. So I was good with it. For the blending on the snowman, I'm actually blending, instead of using the baby oil, I'm using a white pencil, which both lightens the color and blends it. So it kind of gives it a really nice effect. And if you're interested in colored pencil work, you can check my colored pencil uh, playlist here on YouTube and you'll find a couple of winter ones that I've been doing recently. There's also a colored pencil jumpstart class that lots of people have been having fun with for the last few months at art-classes.com. Links to all of that are, of course, in the doobly-doo down below. Here comes the snow. And you can decide if you want a lot of snow, if you want a blizzard, if you just want a light bit of falling snow. But if your background doesn't come out in whatever medium you're using, just put snow over it. Nobody's going to care. 
So I am adding a little bit of snow on places where it would fall and get stuck. So if the snowman actually had stayed put for a long time, he'd have snow on the top of his head and on his little arm sticking out. I don't know if anybody would actually build a snowman at an angle like that, or if he is a live snowman who is just leaning. I don't know that it matters a whole lot, but I put some Be Creative tape on the back of my die cut and peel the backing off. This stuff is wonderfully sticky. I really like the Be Creative tape. I use it a lot. I have it in all the widths that it comes in because for something tiny like this, I can use the really skinny one and my adhesive is gonna stay just on that little teeny tiny strip. So I've added a piece of acetate so it feels like a shiny glass window. And then I'm just gonna glue it on to the front of my picture, trim off the excess because I did have a little more paper than I needed, but trimmed it off, added the Sentiment Bundle Up Buttercup with some dimensional adhesive, and tied my little twine on there, my little ribbon, and called her done. So these are four more tags added to my giveaway. Details are on the blog. You want to go over there and leave a comment in order to qualify to win. There's also another Christmas tag thing that I am entering today. And there's information on that as well and a link to in my creative opinion.blogspot.ca. So you can go qualify for lots of prizes over there, not just a little silly tag from old Sandy. So you're going to want to check all that out. Link is in the doobly-doo as well as all the supplies. And I will see you guys again tomorrow for the final video of this series. Have an awesome day.